She probably, I mean, didn't maybe play around the golf, but she at least got to go. She got yeah. to be outside and enjoy the yeah. weather, at least. So and it was, go. I mean, it was like a perfect day, yeah. too, right? It was gorgeous. Low 70s, sunshine, low humidity. Nice to see the, the video there of that, and hopefully you guys at home had a, an opportunity to enjoy some of that, too. It's uh, We're left with some pretty mild air this morning. It's not bad at all to kick off your Tuesday. 57 in Burlington, 54 in Middlebury, 55 in Montpelier. Plattsburgh a little cooler, down to 44, some 30s in the Adirondacks. But we have the sun up now, and there should be plenty of it, which is some thin clouds overhead, and those will be in and out throughout the rest of the day. So at times might be a little bit on the gloomy side, but I think we'll still get plenty of sun in between, and we're still going to warm up plenty. So by by lunchtime, 73 or so already in the Champlain Valley. We'll be in the low 80s for our highs, so back to that summer-like weather. South breeze, maybe around 10, 15 miles per hour, so it's going to pull in not only the warm air, but a little bit of that moisture from the south, too, and that's going to make it uh, feel a little bit on the muggy side today, so be ready for that, and that's going to ramp up even more for your Wednesday. So here's future cash showing that mix of sun and clouds. We'll have both today, maybe a spot shower, and then similar again tomorrow morning as you're waking up and headed out the door. We do have a threat for some thunderstorms, and some of those could be on the stronger side for your Wednesday afternoon. From about lunchtime, already a couple of those scattered showers and maybe a few embedded thunderstorms start to creep in. And watch, you can see a couple different lines of those moving through throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So heads up, we do have the chance for some of those, although they will not be widespread. We will get some sun in between. Something to be aware of, especially if you have any outdoor plans tomorrow, be ready for the potential for some thunderstorms with some downpours and lightning, but also the threat for some damaging wind gusts. That's all ahead of a cold front. That cold front triggers those storms, but they clear out overnight and we end up with lots and lots of sunshine on Thursday. Beautiful looking day, but our temperatures take a huge hit. So we're going from some kind of muggy 80 degree air all the way down to the 60s for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Mostly dry during that time. We'll get skimmed by a few more showers on Friday night to the south uh, into Saturday morning early. And then I think most of the rest of the Memorial Day weekend is trending dry. However, in have in mind, we could once again be skimmed by at least a few showers again on Monday. But we'll watch that and have a better idea as it gets closer.